Hey folks, it's Brian, time for another weekend update. I'm gonna to talk today about Musa Basju's give an update there in two different areas. We're gonna look at the one that I cut down as well as the big patch that's behind me. I'm gonna give an update on a Musa Sikimensis that I think is actually right. I know I've covered some of the other ones that I got that I don't think are right, but I have one that I actually think is actually a Musa Sikimensis. We're gonna look at that one. Uh, I'll give an update on the angel wing begonia, one of them that I stuck in the ground. And we'll take a look at the stumps in the front and see what's going on there. Now, we are getting to a point where the temperatures are starting to cool. Today is going to be our last day of summer. It's supposed to be mid-80s today and then all next week, mid-70s. Things are starting to slow down. Things are not growing quite as much. Nights are cooler. Days are shorter and everything is uh, starting to get ready for, for fall here. Okay, we're over here in the Musa Basjus. Let's find the right thing. Okay, looking here, you can see, fortunately or unfortunately, that's another flag leaf. So this is on the big guy in the front here. So we're gonna get a pod coming out of that in the next week or so. Exciting, but also not exciting. That one won't be here next year. So you can see this is right next to pod four right there. We'll show you pod three in the background. One thing I noticed is that all of the bald faced hornets are gone. They've been gone for about a week. So I don't know if somebody found their nest somewhere and did them all in or what, but they're no longer around any of the pods. Here's another, if you look at this tall one in the back here, it's hard to see, but that to me looks like a curly crumpled up flag leaf as well. Uh, so that would be pod seven coming out of the, the big one in the back there. So looks like we'll have two more flowering over the next weeks. I mean, being that it's almost the middle of September, it's a little bit of a shame, <laughs> but also that's what they do. And I've still got enough big ones like this one here in the front is not flowered. I don't think it will flower, uh, but this guy's, I mean, there's, there's eight feet. So he's, he's going to be around. This one's flowered. That one's flowered. This one's flowered. That one's flowered. So I'll have this one not flowered. This one is flowered. This is, this is, uh, Pod five is that one. This is a brand new one this year, right here. So that's, I mean, there's, there's six feet right there. So he's, he's doing good. There's a couple other, this is another new one from this year. That's over six feet. Uh, there's another one just coming up. You can see. That one, the very top is about six feet on the leaves there. So we'll be okay. A few others, this one is, there's eight feet. That one's good. Uh, this one is also good right here. That one's nice and tall. That, that one should not flower at this point. Uh, this one will not flower either. This one was new last year. Uh, that one's good. One in the back, that's pod two. So that one will be, you can see up right in there. That one will be gone. There's another good one on the side there. That's nice and tall from last year. So while we will lose 
seven of them we've got enough and i was going to rearrange this anyway i think i mentioned that before i plan on putting an end set in the middle of these so kind of right there um so this actually just makes it a little bit easier because some of these are going to have to come down anyway and i will sometime over the winter come in and clean out the ones that fruited and make a hole right here in the middle so that come spring i can drop an inset in the middle of all of these i'm not going to do a separate update on this this week but here is an update on this for the weekly update this is the musa bastu that i cut it's coming in well this leaf is looking very normal and uh, that's about two and a half three feet close to three feet tall so here's another one of my bananas that was sold to me as musa sikimensis this was actually sold as a seed uh, I got a bag of seeds. I got one of them to actually sprout after about six months of waiting. This one actually looks right. Uh, if you look at it, it's got the red stripe. Now this by itself doesn't mean anything. You can see in the Musa Bastu that I just showed you, that actually has a red stripe down the center as well. But if you <clears throat> flip this leaf over, and you look at that coloration, that looks, from what I can tell and what little info there is online about these things, that coloration looks right to me. And so I have high hopes that I, of, of all of the different seeds and plants that I bought, I did end up with one. This is one of the angel wing begonias I had put in the ground. You can see right there. It's starting to seed. It's to flower. It's got a couple, couple spots where it's flowering. It's doing, doing well. Uh, it, I don't know how long it's going to last, but this one, I think this one, I I will leave in the ground. The other one, I'm going to take out and put inside for the winter. But this one, we'll leave in the ground. See how it fares uh, over here. My guess is not well. <laughs> And here is the other angel wing begonia that I stuck in the ground. This one is doing really well. It's got a lot of growth on it. This one is also seeding. You can see flowers coming in in a few spots. I know I saw a couple more. There's one down here as well. So super cool that uh, these have done so well in the ground. So this one I'll put in a pot and take it inside and I will stick it outside again next year because it's done so well. I'll put it out earlier next year too. As soon as it gets warm enough that it can sustain overnight, we will uh, put that thing back outside and let it grow again. Second life on the hollyhocks is coming in here. Like those look phenomenal. Really good. The sage almost has done too well. It has really taken over. I'm probably going to put one of these somewhere else in the yard later, but that's super happy. Uh, it's always fun to come and eat leaves too. Just not that they taste great right off the plant, but uh, it's a fun thing to do. Pygmy date palm. It did well outside this year. It is definitely sticking to its pygmy roots. Not tons of growth compared to some of the other palms, uh, but it has put out new foliage, looks really healthy. The tips are slightly burned just from bringing it out. Probably brought it out a little too fast, but uh, all of the new foliage looks really good. This will go back inside here in the next month or so with a bunch of the other plants we made some progress on stumps i've gotten half of them out 
digging them out by hand. It's a lot of work, but it's according to all the stump grinder people, the only way you can get it flat. And I need it flat over here. So these are the toughest ones. There's all this extra stuff around it. But uh, that one's almost out. Got one out over there. And two more to take out over there. We also got this little surprise in the front yard. Somebody must have thrown a seed or two over here. Just showed up. Yes, this needs to be weeded again. <laughs> we have left it as we've been working on other things. Eventually I'll level it all out and plant other stuff here. But uh, for now it's just left to go, but a little, little sunflower in here. There was a second one here. Looks like it got uh, snacked on. Probably a rabbit. We get a lot of rabbits in the front. That does it for this week. I'll continue these weekly updates as long as there's stuff to talk about. I imagine in the coming weeks, there's just going to be not really enough. So at that point, I'll switch to more of like a monthly update through the winter. But as long as there's stuff to talk about, things that are changing i'll continue to make an update each week and let you know what's going on in the yard and what i'm doing to get ready for winter as we start to move into fall thanks for watching have a great day